Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances, your authorized Sartorius dealer. You can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. Today we're going to be showing you the Sartorius M powered scale. This particular model is the AZ601. The scale comes standard with an AC adapter manual and scale. Um, calibration weights are optional. Um, let's see. So the M-Power replaces Sartorius's Talent Series. So if you ever owned a TE digital scale, the AZ replaces it. Now why Sartorius calls it the M-Power and yet the model number is an AZ, I really don't know, but that's it. So this is the AZ601, and the balance comes in the AZ series. There are three analyticals, um, basically a, a 60, 100, and 210 version. So that's an analytical balance, and an analytical balance would have a three-door um, glass draft shield, so that's your analytical balance. And then we have the milligram balance, and in the milligram there are two versions. There's the AZ-153 and 313. So that would be 150 by a milligram and a 310 by a milligram. And then you have a precision series, which is the AZ, uh, let's see, 212, 412. I'm sorry, no, 212 and 612. And they would have this round platform, this round diameter platform. And then you have a 1502 and a 3102, which would have the square platform, similar to this one. And those are all to 0 0.01 gram. And then finally, there are four models that are to a tenth of a gram. So one decimal place, this is the AZ601. There's a 2101 and a 4101, and finally a 6101. So the scales on the analytical balance right here with the draft shield this has a 3.5 inch diameter platform on your milligram balance it has a hundred millimeters or 3.7 inch diameter platform and then on your precision balance the 0 0.01 the 212 and the 412 have a 4.6 inch or 160 millimeter diameter platform so it's round in all other models would have this square plat or rectangular platform. It's not square. It measures 174 by 143 uh, millimeters, or basically that is 6.85 inches by 5.63. So we can basically say uh, 6.8 by 5.6 inches. So it's a nice large platform. To give you a perspective, I always like to try to give some you know, here's a tonic can. So your Pepsi tonic can gives you an idea how big the platform is and also a perspective of the size of the scale. So that's the basic um, perspective on the scale. Now I'd like to cover some of the features. So although the manual, and the manual is extremely well documented here, uh, the manual says basically on page 6 of the user manual that it can operate on batteries, some models. Well, in 2012, as a cost-cutting uh, measure, Sartorius removed that feature. So none of the AZ series operates off of batteries at this time. Maybe in 2013 they will um, bring the feature back. But as of right now, all, all AZ series are only AC powered only. So I want to show you on the back of this scale, um, the scale had a battery compartment. And that battery compartment is right here. And you will see that battery compartment that typically you would put eight double a batteries i believe it was or six double no eight double a batteries has been removed and there is no battery battery carrier so all az series now solely operate off of ac adapter and um, 
you'll see a lot of websites out there that say that it operates off of batteries and it doesn't. Uh, the scale also has four adjustable feet. Now some models come with two, others have four. Um, if they do only have two, it's going to use the center post right here for keeping the rear of the scale um, stable. So there is no below way underhook feature. This is a basic scale. This is Sartorius's entry level model. So that's the bottom of the scale, and on the rear of the scale, um, we have here, this is your RS-232 interface. So the RS-232 interface, 25 pin, we do sell the cable, it is an option, so if you wanted to tie it to a PC, you have to buy Satorius. This is not a standard serial cable, it's a special cable, you have to buy Satorius's cable to make it work. You also have your AC adapter receptacle. And then on the back of the scale, you'll see right here, this is your sprint bubble indicator so that you can level the scale. So it's a nice large sprint bubble indicator. And the scale has four pads that the pan rests on. So it's a basic model, doesn't have a ton of advanced features, but it can do the job. Um, Sartorius markets this as, again, an entry-level model for their, mark, uh, for their balances, and it has a nice removable stainless steel platform. So I'd like to um, go over some additional features on how to calibrate the scale. I can walk you through that. It's very easy to do. And I'd like to cover some of the features of the way modes, or uh, not the way modes, the, uh, the keys, and how to operate the scale. So, you basically have the scale weighing in grams right now, and if I put on a 200 gram weight, it reads 200. But if the scale was off, to do calibration is very simple. All one needs to do is hold the tear key down, and the balance will flash the weight that's needed. Now, on all of the AZ series, they are not user selectable. You have to purchase the correct calibration weight. And those cal weights are all listed in the user manual on page 29 here. You can see page 29. And every model is listed right here for what's needed. So we're using the AZ 6100. I'm sorry, we're using the AZ 601 and it requires a 500 gram weight. So, to do calibration, all one simply needs to do is put on the 500 gram weight, and the scale beeps after it's accepted its calibration. And so, I have a 100 gram weight over here, and put a 100 gram weight on, and you can see the performance of the scale quick, it's accurate, and it's a large weighing platform. If you compare it to other comparable models for this sector, um, having a large 6.8 by 5.6 inch platform, um, that's large for this type of portable top loading scale. So that's how you calibrate the scale. Um, you do have both a right and a left tear key, so you can tear up to capacity, so I can have the 100 grams here, press the tear key, put 200 grams, press the right tear key. So you can tear either right or left, and then if I remove the weights, you'll see it says negative now, and now there's a negative 100, and another one gives you 300. So hit the tear, you can return it back to the zero state. Um, the scale also has for additional features, there is a net total formula, uh, formulation mode, uh, also called a second tier memory, where you can actually store the tier values. There is a counting feature, where your sample size is either 5, 10, 20, 50, or 100 pieces. So you cannot just select any, you have to select one of those five sample sizes. You also have a percent weigh mode, 
where you would set a reference value. Say if you wanted to make uh, 500 grams of solution, you would put a 500 gram weight on. And from there, you can do percentage wise exactly what you need for each component. There is also weigh averaging, also called a animal weigh mode, where here it would you would use this if you had an unstable reading. Say if you had an insect on the scale on, and it was moving around, it would take an average. And those sub weigh-ins could be anywhere from 5 samples, 10, 20, 50, or 100. These are all user selectable and all these selections are in the user manual. And the user manual is uh, detailed to walk you through exactly how to do each setup. So each application program, Satorius did a great job in the manual. You'll see here this is percent uh, weighing in percent mode. And here you get into the configuration if you want to do 5%, 10%, 20 50 or 100%. So the manual is very well documented. So easy to configure. You don't need to hire any specialists. As long as you can read through the manual, you'll have no problem. Again, none of these balance have the way below hook, so there's no way to suspend an item from beneath the balance to do any kind of uh, way below specific gravity. Sometimes people are weighing hotter magnetic material. That's where that function would be used. You'll find these way below feature in the more advanced series. If you go up to the next step, look at the Satorius ED series or CPA series. All of the easy, all of the AZ models come standard with an RS-232 interface so that you don't need to buy a module. Like the next step down from this is Satorius's AY series. And on that AY series, you have to purchase the optional RS-232 module. On this scale, it comes standard, but the cable is additional. You probably also want to uh, purchase additional uh, the software. WinWedge is what we promote, or you could surf the internet and see if there's any shareware out there. Satorius does offer an external rechargeable battery pack. That part number is YRB08Z. But this is very expensive, and basically all it is is a glorified UPC, un uninterrupted power supply. Um, all models in the AZ series, calibration weights are optional, and Satorius does back the AZ balances with a three-year limited manufacturer's warranty. Um, if you compare other competitive brands on the market, many of the manufacturers, now you see the H, I went over capacity. This scale has a total weighing capacity of 610 grams, but I just put a 500 gram weight, I have a 200 and a 100, so that's 800 grams, and that's what will happen, you get an H, and it's not good to do, so I just remove it. Uh, again, this is the Satorius three-year limited manufacturer's warranty. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us at either www.balances.com or our new website at scaleman.com. We are Precision Weigh and Balances. We're an authorized Satorius dealer. Thanks for watching this video.